guys welcome back to my channel so today I have another uh, review demo um, foundation for you guys and it's going to be the collab foundation I showed this in my recent haul um, this is from Sally's I am um, getting ready to leave out for work so I'm just going to apply the foundation show you guys how it looks and later when I get off work I'll talk about the product and what the claims are so on and so forth so I hope I hope you guys don't mind me doing it that way I'm just doing it that way because or this way because I'm kind of on a time crunch and I really want to try out this foundation so that's what we're gonna do so I already primed my face um, I'm going to use a sponge for half of my face and I'm going to use a brush for another, um, the other half of my face just for um, the sake of the video so it's supposed to be a matte velvet matte foundation that's what's on the um, the bottle and if I didn't mention before my shade is in caramel 08 so hopefully this matches me Oh, it comes out like a little bit at a time. You know how usually when you pump out a foundation, you could get like a full pump? I had to pump it like probably seven, six or seven times to get that much. Like, let me see if I can show you. Wow, now it works. <laughs> okay, now I guess because um, it's trying to show me up, that's what it's doing. But I guess because I just started to pump it, I guess that's why I was coming out like that. So, right, let me just. All right, let's blend away. Okay, so it's blending very easily, but this does not look matte to me. Like, this looks really dewy. I mean, you guys can see, it looks very dewy. This does, this, this does not look matte at all. So the coverage seems very light, so I'm just going to apply, guys I'm so sorry, my son is right next to me and he's like, he's talking, oh sorry. This is not matte at all. I like it though. Um, it looks nice and fresh face, but this is not this is not matte. No way, shape, or form is this matte. That is two pumps, so one pump you don't get a lot. I'm gonna use my Morphe brush. Don't judge me. The handle broke, but the brush still works. Okay. Okay, so the foundation looks nice and natural. It's a very light. Even though I did apply two layers, it still looks done with the rest of my face. And this is what the foundation looks like. I had to set it like crazy. So right now it's 9.30. Okay, so it's been six and a half hours since I applied the foundation. And... Before I give you my thoughts and everything on the foundation, I'm just going to run through some facts about the foundation or some give you some information about the foundation. Because I know um, earlier I didn't have time to do it because I was rushing. So 
I believe I mentioned earlier that my shade was Caramel 08. What the foundation looks like. And Caramel 08. So it says meet your matte velvet foundation. So it's supposed to be a matte foundation. Um, so I'm going to go on the website. Oh, before I go on the website. So Collab, apparently um, there are eight different influencers from YouTube, I believe, um, who got the, the opportunity to come together as a team to create a makeup line that's now, I believe it's exclusive to Sally's. Um, there are over, I think, 200 different products in this makeup line, and hence the name Collab, because, you know, it was a collaboration with different people. Um, so that's a little background story or a little background information on the product. So on the website, the product retails for $14.99 and it's available in 14 shades. Let me see. Shades, sorry. It's available in 10 shades um, ranging from porcelain to the darkest being mocha. Um, my shade is this third to darkest shade, caramel. Um, so the details for the information, um, product details, it says medium to full coverage, soft focus, matte finish, blurs imperfections, velvety smooth, high pigmented formula blends effortlessly to create a soft focus effect on the skin that's perfectly matte, never flat. Blurs the look of imperfections for a flawless airbrushed appearance, medium to full coverage with a modern matte finish. So, as you guys saw when I applied the foundation, it was no way near being matte. Like, it was not even a demi-matte, semi-matte, whatever you want to call it. It was glowy, dewy, dewy. This is not matte at all. Um, at first, I thought it was the sponge that maybe the water from the sponge i don't know I, I you know in my mind i was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt i'm like okay maybe it's a sponge that's making it dewy but when i applied it with the brush it was just as dewy so i don't see how this claims to be matte because that wasn't matte um and i didn't use a mattifying primer i used a moisturizing primer because i was Assuming this was going to be really matte and whenever I use um, matte foundations, even though I have oily skin, I like to make sure my skin is very hydrated, especially because I don't want the foundation to cling to any dry patches because even though I'm oily, I do have some areas on my face which are dry and it will accentuate the drier parts on my face if, the, um, if my skin is not properly moisturized. So... Um, they went, I don't, I don't know what happened with the, the matte part. They do have a dewy foundation. Um, I'm curious to see what the dewy foundation is going to look like because if the matte looked like that when I applied it, I don't know what the dewy, maybe it will look like coconut oil or something. I don't know. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm just saying it's, it wasn't matte. You guys saw for yourself. So this foundation is not full coverage in my humble opinion. It's like a medium um, coverage. It did say it was medium to full coverage. So maybe if I were to apply like two heavy layers, maybe it will give me um, super full coverage. But applying an even layer is not full coverage. It's like medium coverage. Um, if you like that dewy, glowy looking skin, this foundation will be for you. However, if you are really oily, I highly suggest that you use a mattifying primer and then make sure you set this really, really well or you will be very disappointed. So, I did set the foundation. This is what my face looks like. Um, and as I said earlier, it's been about six and a half hours since I applied the foundation. Um, and right now, I am getting shiny. It's been, you know, quite a few hours, um, but it's not bad. Like, the shine that's coming through is not bad. And let me tell you, foundation looks amazing. Like, it looks so good. Like, my face, when I was finished with everything in person, 
my face looked airbrushed like it looked like i had airbrush foundation put on now i don't know if it was a combination with the setting powder that i used or if it was just a foundation but i was not gonna go out with the foundation like that because it was just too dewy for my liking that was just too much and with my oily skin it was gonna get worse so the foundation did not separate at all um it did not crease at all everything basically apart apart from the fact that I'm you know getting oily obviously I think the foundation looks really 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 good I actually really like this foundation you know what it's either I'm having really good luck with these drug drugstore foundations lately or the they're stepping their game up it's one of the two maybe it's a combination of both but I highly suggest you go to Sally's hopefully they have your shade because they do not have a lot of shades let's run down the cons first con it's not mattifying at all it's not mattifying second thing is the shade range suck okay you only have 10 shades that's that's not enough um, they need to expand um, the foundation, um, the, the shades in there. But other than that, this foundation is a go. I hope this video was informative. Um, is there, if there's anything that I didn't um, get to or I didn't answer um, or I didn't point out in this video, just leave your um, comments or questions down below and I will get to them. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I know I've said this before, but I honestly really, really appreciate all the love and support. Very grateful for you guys. Um, and with all that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.